welcome to another video. Today we're going to be kitting down uh, my heaven and earth designs that I'm painting that I finished in December of 2022. So yes, I know it's, it's April. It's April. Um, <laughs> yes. It's a yeah, it is April. Like, is it April? Yes, it's April. Oh my gosh. How time goes. Um, so this is a cross-stitch pattern. This was a cross-stitch pattern that I had diamond painted. I had done as a diamond painting. And um, Heaven and Earth Designs, their pictures tend to have like 80 something colors. I think there's 80 something colors in here. And I also have like a bunch of colors here that I had replaced with ABs. So I think there's probably more like almost like over um 90 colors now because i had i got i got the drills um because i i went and bought the drills and these should all be resin drills fyi and and then i was like okay which ones should i replace with with ab's but i still bought the drills in case i decided to do a different AB. Yeah, like let's just say I wanted the option, so I bought everything. Um, so I got these drills from Home Fun on AliExpress, and I thought overall they were pretty good quality. Home Fun does sell their drills in 200 drill qu quantities, so some of these I might have a lot of extras, and some of these I might have just a little bit. And and what else was I gonna say? Oh, um, oh yeah, so. This is my, this is how I kit down. So when I say kit down, I mean put away my leftover drills from finished diamond paintings. So the diamond painting's finished, yay! Um, and I have right now four photo boxes for my square resin drills. If you watch one of my, my la finale video of my putting away my 447 um, picture, um, 447 color drills, I, I did show at the end of that video all of my stash drills. So I do have a lot of drills. Um, I do have a lot of drills. I just can't throw them away. And I have been slowly chipping away, except I keep adding things, slowly chipping away with um, doing cross stitch patterns. And this one was not part of my slowly chipping them away because I did buy the drills. Um, but I have a couple other cross-stitch patterns that I didn't buy the drills. Well, I bought whatever I needed that I didn't have, but I used primarily my spare drills there. So, um, if you haven't seen my system, I have like a card for every DMC, and then I have a bag for that DMC and I do also shade match so some of my colors I might have more than one bag if the drills don't match each other. And all the templates for like if you want to print out this label here um, the template is in my I, I just freely you could knock yourself out and print it um, just don't blame me if it doesn't completely match your labels because I don't know I made it and I used it and it matched my labels so um but yeah feel free to use the templates there that I made it should be in the link of my shared I think at some point I was calling calling it my shared templates um link and now I think I changed it to shared diamond painting stuff so yeah, so feel free to click it. It will go into my Google Drive account into the folder that I shared. Um, so it's not everyone's folder. It's not my all, all the folders. So, and I do just like having all four of my boxes out because these drills are in mostly in order, you know, mostly, mostly in order. But if they're not in order, it's just a little bit easier to have them all out here. And plus, I just kitted down right before this, so the last kitting down video for my square resins, I just recorded it right before this video. It's actually right now processing on my computer, so it's the same day, so it's the same, my same sweater here. In case you're like, Joan, you only have one sweater? I don't know. So, let's get started. So, oh wait, so I don't know if in cross-stitch land, 
Um, I don't know if you realize that there's some extra DMCs here, like, that are not in diamond painting, so I did just use a, a, um, substitute DMC, and I wrote down what DMC it is there. So these are obviously not going to be in DMC order. So 772. 772. Okay. So this is one of those ones I actually have two bags for. I do think it does match the main one. So most of the time, the drills should match um, what's in your stash. Um, there are times where it doesn't though, so I do usually make a new bag if it doesn't match what's in my current stash. I'm hoping with me separating out my resin and my acrylic drills, um, I'll have a little bit of a more matching um, thing. Like, cause I'm hoping that the resin drills match each other and the acrylic drills will match each other instead of where some, some of my, in my previous one, I had some, some of my shades, I had like, four four different shades of um, some of my DMCs I have like four different shades so I'm hoping with me separating them out I'll have them match more often so and if you're new to diamond painting welcome and um you don't and you're like what are you talking about um with the acrylic and the resin um usually the diamond painting drills are either made of acrylic or resin and there is a slight difference in in them i can't tell in rounds so so my rounds all go together but my squares i can tell the difference between the resin and acrylic because um one fits fits square. I, I, the, I think the resins are slightly superior because I think they fit together better than the acrylics. They fit together better on the um, diamond painting and if you've done like some square diamond paintings you might have noticed that um, they're supposed to be like they're all supposed to fit like nice right next to each other nicely. So I think the resin drills just fit together nicely a little bit more than um, acrylic drills. Rounds, I can't tell the difference. I'm, I'm serious. I'm like, I don't know. And how you can tell which one is square and um, which one's resin and acrylic to me is usually just looking at the flaws of the diamond, of the drills. Um, resin drills, the main flaw that I normally see is they have little craters at the top of the drill. Um, that's probably the number one main flaw I see in the resin drills, is the little craters. And then um, also some of them tend to be like concave or convex. Um, or like, so they're either like, um, they're, they're not flat at the bottom and they're like, concave or sometimes they're like overstuffed and they're not actually flat but they're more ballooned like inflated the acrylic drills um they tend to be to me a tiny bit okay this looks a little, a little bit different they tend to be a tiny bit smaller um in size just a tiny bit and and they also compared to the resin drills and they also um, tend to have what looks like a 
um, maybe like a toothpick prick on the drills. Like it just looks like someone, someone poked it with a toothpick. So there's like a little toothpick poke. And now I think I'm going to mix them. Um, cause I think it looks close enough. They look like they have like a little toothpick poke. So that's usually the main way I, I, I look at them by glance. Now, once you start diamond painting it, you can't, you'll be able to tell even more um, of a difference because of just how they fit together. But without putting it on the diamond painting drill, you won't be able to tell that yet. I mean, without putting it on the canvas, you won't be able to tell that yet. So if I just look, I look for the flaws. Okay, I'm gonna actually do these ones first since they're not in any sort of DMC order and then the rest should all be in some sort of DMC order because these ones I had replaced with ABs 30, 414, I do actually have a good amount of this because I must, it must have been, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, now that I put the piece of plastic over it, it does look like it just... I've actually also finished another Heaven and Earth Designs diamond painting after this one, so I do have to kick that down, but I haven't recorded the completion review yet of that one. So, that will be a future video. Okay, it looks like. And that one, I was using my spare drill, so that's going to be a mixture of my acrylic and um, resin drills. Because I did buy some resin drills for that one when I, um, for the ones I didn't have enough of. And I, and I, when I was doing it, I started, I was, I underlined the ones that was the resin drills so that I knew to put, I would be able to put them away on the, in this one. So hopefully that will be a future of kidding down. Oh, well, that looks, that looks pretty different, I think. And nope, I'm wrong again. <laughs> the bag does change the shade a little bit. It's six, six, six. Okay, oops. Seven forty. Seven forty. Seven forty. There it is. So it's tangerine. I seriously do feel like I need the. Yeah, that's that does match. Six oh seven. This one is plum. It is a little easier to kit down the Tic Tac containers and the bottles as opposed to the ones that are like in more like.
like the more not clear plastic like these ones these ones um it it's not as clear of a plastic as that so it does obscure the color although now i'm wondering hey maybe i don't need to put in the the little plastic bag because it it obscures the color enough to offset that okay so 150 so now these should all i think be in dmc order because i think i left my box in dmc order here This is a really pretty red. And then I had a couple baggies of extra stuff in there. Two, 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 five. Okay, that one was a slightly different shade now that I poured it in, but it's not, it's so dark you can't tell. Um, <laughs> the darker colors, the shade differences are a little bit um, harder to see. The lighter colors, it's pretty obvious when the shade is different. So 310. You know what? I do actually have more 310 resin drills. So I'm gonna just, this is what I've been doing for the ones that I have a lot of instead of like filling up the, uh, instead of like putting another bag of 310s in here, I've been putting them in my, um, overflow box if you saw this is my this is all my drills of my squares that i have like tons of extras um but this is i'm i this is i'm still using this for my um acrylic drills too so what i think i'm going to do is like re, um label the three tens and say resin on them so that i know which one is different and arrow will be like my resins should be have the little red sticker maybe and i was gonna put the um red sticker on here to know that i have more somewhere else even though i'm i i know i already have more for 310 because 310 is one of my colors that i have tons of but yeah and i figured instead of filling that ba bag more i'll just Put it in my overflow that I know I have already. Okay, that one does not want to leave. So I'll just be sure to label things. So yeah, the uh, my, this little happy face sticker just um, it's just or I don't know if you can tell they're happy face stickers. That's only for me to know that there is more in in my overflow box. So I've been putting them onto here to tell my like if I'm ever like um, using these for uh, to 
to like do a cross stitch conversion and I'm like, oh, I don't have enough. And I'll be like, wait, this has this happy face sticker. So I know that I have another container, another bag at least in my spares. That's what I'm using that for. more here. Oh, that one is an AB. I'll do that last. And then this one is an AB, so I'll do that last. One, two. It doesn't. Uh, that looks different without the plastic. Watch, I pour it in. It's it is different. No, that's three, one, five. Three one eight. Which looks like it matches there. Three seventy two mustard. No. Yep, that does match. <laughs> The bag really just changed the shade, like, enough that you think it's not matching. And then you pour it in, you're like, oh no, that matches. And I used the ruler to help keep my space, my place. In the box. So this is like a half, um, half um, foot ruler. So this one, I have two very dis different shades here. This one's darker, this one's lighter. This one, seems to match the lighter one a little bit more. Okay, so now that I poured it in, I do see a slight, slight difference. Oh well, yeah. Thirty-four. I don't know. It seems. 
Okay. Four thirty four. Four thirty five. This one, I put the label on the wrong side. Jump, baby, she got that. should be on this side just that's because the offset is on that side for 69 avocado green Four fifty two. Four seventy one. Next ones. Okay. Five twenty four. Six ten. This is drab brown. It does look more drab out behind the plastic. This is also a drab brown. Yep. Six twelve.
yeah, I wonder now if really all my shade variations I have for squares is because I was doing both resin and acrylic in there. So I had like so many versions. Because I, I swear, I'm, I'm actually getting pretty decent matches. Um, considering, considering um, my AliExpress drills are from a different... Um, um, than the drills I got from Amazon, and they've been relatively good matches for the most part. Okay. Next one, so it seems like the next couple DMCs were highly represented. Oh, this one's an AB, because they're in the bigger bottles. Um, So I did need probably a good chunk of these. Six forty four. Wait, there's still one more in here. Six, I have a good chunk of 647 left. Pretty full bag. Six forty eight. I was kind of a little bit thinking that these that shade was a little bit different, and it's it's a decent enough match. There are six forty eight. Seven twenty. This is like pumpkin or something. No, it's orange spice. <laughs> okay. I probably was thinking pumpkin because you know orange spice. I don't know. Sounds like I don't know spice cake or pumpkin pie spice. There's not one left over in there. Hoping it would just come off. Six 
728 is golden yellow. Oh, I don't know if you can tell. There is a slight shade variation. This one is a little bit lighter than that one. So this must have been another one of those ones where the two bags from that I got the 447 colors didn't completely match each other. This one I feel like matches one of the shades, so I'm just gonna pour it in there. And we're just gonna mix it. Because So then if I do pour it in, um, put it on the diamond painting, it's not going to be that obvious um, that they're a different shade. Hey, look, you can't really tell that much anymore. But like when they were separated, you could totally see that there was a slight shade difference. difference. Seven to 29. Seems lighter. Nope. Oh, my hair. <laughs> Seven thirty-eight. I kind of feel like this is a darker color, so we're gonna put it in a different baggie. It's a different shade than this one. This one's slightly darker. Tangerine. Seven sixty two. I noticed this drill in acrylic looks much different than this drill in resin. It's just one of those ones I noticed right away. Like in the resin drills, these, this is like a white, a whiter color, and in acrylic drills, it's actually a gray color. So <laughs> I don't know. That was one of those ones that it was like pretty distinctive between the two plastic types. This does look different. This one has like a slightly reddish tint to the brown, while this one looks more brown. Well, when I poured it into a bag, now I can see where the slightly reddish tint, like not slightly reddish, slightly purplish tint. Um, I don't know. 
why the bag gave it a purplish tint. Yeah, no, nope, that matches. Okay. And I don't know why putting this on top didn't change it, but there you go. Next set of drills here. Seven eighty three Topaz. Brown. Okay. Yep. It doesn't. It didn't look that um, matchy without putting it in the without putting the bag on top of it. This was one of those ones that the bag made a difference in how the shade looked. Garnet eight one four. Yeah, I think. Thirty-two golden olive. Okay. Eight forty four is Beaver Great Ultra Dark. Do I have two of them? Why did I separate these? There was a reason I separated them. But I can't tell you the reason. I might combine these because I don't know why I separated them. They look the same. To me. They look the same. Now, apparently, like, when I was putting these away, they didn't look the same. Yeah, I don't know why I separated them. They look the same. <laughs> At the time of me putting them away, it didn't look the same to me. But this time, it looks the same. <laughs> yep. I think it depends on the lighting, but I think like if one set of lighting makes them look the same, then they really probably are the same. Yeah, I was like, I don't know why I separated those. So. Nine 
100. match I started like taping my my lids on for my tic tac containers because they sometimes do come off easily but then, you know, when the drill gets stuck in there, I won't be able to take the lid off. So, yeah, we'll see. I probably, after this, I probably will put tape on all of these. Because I do like it better when I can't just take off the lid really easily. is copper. Yep. Nine twenty four. Yeah, my last kidding down, which I recorded right before this video, it's still processing in the background, so yeah, it it does take a while to process the videos after, like, and I don't I mean process is like, usually um, the longer videos end up getting cut into two videos, um, and then I have to put them together. It's just the way my recording thing is, is after a like 46 minutes it splits it stops recording and then starts recording a new video um so then anything longer i do end up having to edit it as in put the two the two um videos together and then i also usually put in i put a filter in just to make the video look a little bit brighter because yeah just to make because I don't know I think my lighting my lighting actually I think got a little bit better because I did get some um, soft boxes I think that's what they're called soft boxes and I'm like why didn't I get those things before it's it it I don't even have like um I don't know if you noticed in my previous kidding downs I would sometimes have like an extra light on and now it's like it's plenty bright so I don't need that extra light on to shine on to here so so yeah. I got I got some more lights because I was talking at some point about um, getting an actual camera camera because I don't know if you know this but I'm recording on just a tablet just a tablet um, the camera on a tablet and I think my camera on my tablet is just like some low-ish quality I think it's only like eight megapixel qual I don't know I don't know anything about cameras but it's like when I looked it up it's only an eight megapixel um camera and at some point I was like maybe I should get a real camera to record like get like a real 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 camera instead of recording on my tablet haven't gotten the camera yet but I did get, um, but someone had suggested getting extra lights, and I think the extra lights do make a massive difference. I might still get the camera, but I just don't have, I, I mean, if you've noticed a couple of the weeks, I have not been able to put five videos up. It's because, 
Yeah, I haven't had this much time to record. And so then like my buffer goes away. So if I don't even have time to record, I don't have time to figure out a new camera system. <laughs> but the lights, I was like, eh, I just set it up once. And I was like, that shouldn't take that long to figure out. But a new camera will take me a little bit of time to figure out. But maybe, maybe later on, later on the year, I don't know, if I somehow find some magical extra time, because if extra time is magical, <laughs> then I might get an, a camera, a separate camera instead of using my tablet. Because I was like, huh, if I get a separate camera, I could use my tablet for my heaven and earth designs stuff instead of using my computer for it. Especially now that I'm printing out my my patterns for Heaven and Earth designs and diamond painting directly on the printout, um, I do kind of still want to use Pattern Keeper for my um, patterns just to find symbols and the DMC use right away. If that makes sense, like because you, I could still click on the pattern. I could, I still have the pattern, and I could look at it on Pattern Keeper and be like, I want to figure out what DMC that is. I see that on the thing and I, I click it and then I was like, oh, it tells me to go to 3031. So that way I don't have to, um, because I am planning to do a max color um, Heaven and Earth Designs one and I just can't see how I can, and that max color has like over 200 colors. I can't see how I can put the symbols in any sort of order where it will make sense for me at all. Like there's just going to be way too many symbols. I just can't see a way for me to put them where I'll be able to find the symbol right away. So I'm already thinking of my strategy. Strategy. Either that or just buy another tablet instead of buying a camera and use one to record and one for my Heaven Earth Designs. I don't know. Thirty sixty four, and then my like, um, I was using a Android emulator on my um, computer so that I'd be able to open Pattern Keeper on my computer, and then at some point it stopped working, um, and then I was reading that. Uh, I haven't looked into it. I was reading that Microsoft Microsoft uh, Windows or something was going to have some sort of like similar and um, Android em emulator where you'll be able to use Android apps on your Windows computer. So I'm thinking there will. That's probably why my emulator stopped working because I bet you I bet you Microsoft did a did an update or something and messed up my my emulator being able to work because they were doing their own um, Android emulator, which I'll actually I actually will prefer because my Android emulator comes with ads, so, so it comes it it sometimes ads get pop up on it. So if I could just get one with that comes with Windows, then yay! Don't have to have an, a separate program to mimic Android. But I don't know when that's going to happen. I don't know when that's going to happen. Okay. 3350 is plum. Oops. There. Three, three, six, four, pine green. Okay. 
Next set, ooh, this is an AB, do that later. Why isn't it staying up? <laughs> okay, there you go. 3371. This is a dark brown. This is like the brown, I think, that sometimes is replaced, like the one where you think it's black but it's actually a very dark brown. Sometimes you see this one as the black substitution. Three, six, eight, eight. That matches. Three seven two two. Why does this one seem like there's only a little bit? I think this was one of those ones where instead of giving me three seven two two and one of them, it, I had like the one right before it twice. I was like, why do I have only a little bit? I should have, like, this thing should be full. But the one right before this is pretty full, the bag. So I think that's what ended up this one. I don't remember anymore. 3743. Three. So I don't know if you can tell these. Have, so this one's a little bit darker. This one's lighter. Oh my gosh, why can't I tell? I think this one looks like the lighter one. Yeah. Three seven five six. Yeah, I don't think this one matches. This one has like a slightly greenish tint, and this one has like a bluish tint. Yeah, they don't match. Three seven seven six. Oh, I actually have two shades of this. I don't know if you could tell. I don't know. This one's a little bit more brown, and this one's a little bit more orange. I feel like this matches the orangey one more. Three seven eight seven brown gray.
Three, seven, I actually have a good chunk of this left. 3799. But maybe it's just one more kit down left. Three eight two zero straw. Two six. Ooh, this one looks really different. I don't think even yeah, not even the bag it will change the shade. Yeah, I don't know. You can see they're pretty different. <laughs> this one is more brown. This one's a little lighter. Three eight two six. This is the last of the non-AB colors. And then I have a whole bunch of AB colors. Okay. Three, eight, three, zero. Five two straw. Yeah. Three eight five five. Three eight five five three eight three five. Three eight five eight.
3860 Coco. Six one. This one is also cocoa. Oh, these are two very different shades. Oh, this is this is like a completely different shade too. Okay. Yeah, that's a different shade. Okay, so now I apparently have three shades of 364. Okay, I have two insanely different shades of this one. Hey, but I think this one matches this one. But I actually think this matches the color swatch I have more. And 3866. White, orange, and yellow. Okay, ooh, I have some yellow here. 3078. Do I have do I have 3078? Yep, I do. The question is, is it gonna fit in here? Hoping it does. Because I don't want to have to get my these actually should match these because I did get these ABs from the this. So they should match. No. I don't have any more space. Okay, I do have my square ABs in here, my square ABs in here, so I just have to find my 3078. Am I on 3078? Yeah, 3078. And here. Oh my oh I have my oranges here. Oh I, I have six six six. And my reds here too. Apparently most of my ABs are gonna be in this. Okay, because I have my ABs in by color. Okay. Six six six. It's actually in my other box. Okay. I have like two boxes. You know what, since it's here, I'm gonna just get my 3607 here and just put it in here, since I see it. But 
but most of the time my ABs are in this here because I do like to bling up my diamond paintings and my 402 bottle is full my gray my 740 bottle is relatively full so Here's a box, my other box of square EVs. So, 414. Here. I don't have that much left in here. because I got them from here. Six, six, six. Okay, so there I am. I finished getting down all of this. I could kit up my next Heaven Nerd design, even though I have like, <laughs> I think several. I think I have like four or five already kitted up. Yeah, four or five. So that's all I have for today. So thank you very much for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.